I know there's talks about what position he might play at the next level. In my opinion, just seeing him last year and already seeing tonight, that kid's a big league running back. Blown back is Wilder Jr. And they're going to hand it off, and he is swarmed under by a sea of Navy jerseys led by Thomas Kelleher, the 6'2 senior. Well, you look at the St. Thomas defense. They are very, very good. Only giving up 97 points all season. I think it's going to be tough sledding inside as they try to run a little draw trap play to the outside, but too much penetration from that defensive front. You, know, you talk about two seniors and a junior up there in this three-man front for St. Thomas. They have been outstanding defensively all season long. And for the first time, Calvin Mann gets a carry, and he spins off a couple of tackles and picks up three yards when there wasn't much of a hole. Yeah, draw a trap there, though. He's got to go inside. Bind on that last sack. Second down and 13, and Wilder Jr. barely back to the – actually short of the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and more than 10 for Plant. Four in the regular season, four in the playoffs. But they know they have a battle on their hands tonight. They have to contain this guy, James Wilder Jr. Flag goes down, and so does Wilder Jr. Outs remaining if they are trying to get something going before the end of the half. They fake to James Wilder, and they throw over the middle. If that's the case, let's take a look, Brady. Look at the top of your screen. 55, Thomas Keller coming in. He gets his hand. Let's see if we can see if he gets his hand on the ball. He gets his hand on the arm. Well, they've gotten quite a few hits on him the last two quarters. Sanders had to play the last seven quarters against Countryside and Lakeland. Helped win the game against Lakeland. One thing tonight, this Raider defense has not done. It's not allowed James Wilder Jr. any space to get out and do his thing. No, not when he's carried the ball. And when they've tried to get him uh, outside, whether it was on the screen play or, or a quick pitch on the outside, they were able to make a one-on-one -on -one tackle in the open field. And that's something Wilder doesn't see every week, in, you know, week in and week out in high school football, is a defense that has guys who man-on-man -man can tackle you in the open field. These are two of the best tackling defenses in Class 5A. Kincaid, a shotgun in a world of trouble. Look at the speed of the Aquinas defense coming over to bring him down. Thomas Kelleher, the senior in on the wrap-up. Well, Kelleher not fooled that time. They were trying to run a little reverse fake zone read where they get it up in the pocket where they can run option, and they just never could get it done just because Kelleher was there to make the tackle in the backfield. Back is Wilkins. Hey, escaping trouble. Still on his feet inside the 20 yard line. Thomas Kelleher wraps it up, is close to the first down. We told you about Jenkins, the outstanding weak side linebacker. He was there as a blocking back for Kincaid. Thomas Kelleher, the tackle for Aquinas. Retreating into the formation. And on the run again, Devontae Kincaid cannot escape the pressure coming from Aquinas. Again, the defense, Jelani Hamilton and Thomas Keller. We've already called their names two or three times. They've been into the action early. They've just done a nice job turning it back to the inside. Peyton does a nice job of that, and then the pursuit from the inside makes the tackle. Big worst case scenario, St. Thomas Aquinas gets the ball around the 30-yard line. That's no big deal. Instead, they come up. <laughs> Number seven on a run.
track is overthrown and complete. The bubble is covered by the Raiders. First down, Raiders. 